Hi there, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use your mouse and keyboard in Blender. Um, so let's get started. Um, first I'll show you how to use your mouse. Uh, this is very simple, basic stuff, so, you know, if you're advanced, um, you probably are not going to le learn anything. So, um, with your mouse, um, uh, the main thing it would be your scor scroll wheel. So, uh, let's say I wanted to zoom in. I would scroll my wheel toward the object, um, and it will zoom in. Um, scrolling it back will uh, zoom it out. So that's how you zoom in and out. This is very helpful when you're pushing and pulling um, and modeling the character. Um, so also what the scroll wheel will do, if you click the scroll wheel, it will, you can rotate and going in and out, um, so you pan around in the world there that you, that you're in, you know, you just pan, um, you can switch your views, um, with your keypad, but you will still probably just use this as your main maneuver, um, at least that's what I do, but, um, with the, with your scroll wheel, all you do is scroll in for zooming, scroll out for zooming out and pan is clicking that scroll wheel and rotating around. Um, with the uh, uh, right and left mouse buttons, um, the right one you can uh, grab an object. See how I just I, I, I click my right mountain button and I have a hold of the object and you just grab it. Um, with uh, that's it's uh, good for selecting things and bringing up maps and such. Um, your left mouse button uh, w is used to um, do different things, uh, especially in edit mode. But here, what we're looking at here, you can grab things like the uh, Z axis here, and you can push and pull it on here, um, or the X as well. Also, if you're going to be working in texturing and layering and all kinds of modifiers and such, you'll be selecting those with your left mouse button. Um, so that's uh, about it for the mouse. Mouse is pretty simple. Just uh, just experiment with it when you're beginning here. This is for beginners, so um, that's what you do with your mouse. Now as for the keyboard, um, the uh, main basic, there are a lot of shortcuts in Blender, but uh, I'll just go over the basics. Um, S in uh, on your keyboard that will scale an object. So push S, you'll get these two uh, arrows there. You go in with your mouse to make it smaller, and go out to make an object larger. So just scaling it um, is that's all I got to do. S and moving that mouse button. I mean, ju just the mouse, no button. Um, and that's what S does. Um, so it, it's really good for ki bi building characters and model modeling and such. Um, R is another shortcut that you'll be using. Um, R1, you get two arrows. See those two arrows that um, right here that that you see there. Um, that will rotate an object. See how I'm just rotating it, and the center is not very moving. So if I want to move the whole thing, I'll hit R again, and now I have four arrows. See, um, two arrows representing the Y axis, and then two for the uh, X axis. So I can move the whole thing. As the center is not locked down like a just a one one R is. So just hit it R once for the center to be locked, and then R twice for it not to be. And to get out of all, all these scaling such, just click the left mouse, mouse button, and that's how you do it. Um, another uh, useful shortcut is the G. G um, is for, stands for grab, so if I want to grab something, move it over there. I just hit G, grab it again, and move it back, and there you go. Also, each axis, the blue one is Z, the, y, uh, the green one is Y, and the red one is X, okay? So, in each of them move right to left, left to right, and up and down. 
um, so you, you 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 can see how which way they're pointing, and you can go on that X axis, the line there. So if you want to hit G, X, you can drag it on the X axis, and without having to push it with your mouse button. If you want to hit G, Y, then you can do it on the Y axis. And this is very good because you go in a straight line, you're not grabbing it and like messing up, you know, what placement you're at with a certain object. Same thing for Z. Z stands for up and down. Up, down, and just hit G, Z, grab, and on the Z axis. And that's what, that's how you uh, move an object with your keyboard, basically. You still have to use your mouse. Um, also, if you have a numpad, um, you can switch views by hitting your numpad buttons. Um, seven, I believe, is the top view. Five, center. One, the left side. And three, the right side. So, um, I very rarely use these um, because I use my. Well, I shouldn't say that. I do use seven a lot because you get it exactly right to the top. That's what I love to watch because you can see different things from the top. Anyhow, um, just um, yes, just memorize those. Seven is top, five center, three right, Y left. I mean one left. Sorry. So uh, your numpad is useful. I mostly just use the scroll wheel clicking down on it. So yeah, that is your mouse and keyboard basic commands. Um, I can I will be doing more tutorials and I can uh, I'll get in further depth with for, with shortcuts. So um, that's it. And if you like this video, you won't hurt my feelings if you subscribe and like the video. Thank you.